Here is a project management template that allows you to plan out your project um, and display the progress of your project in a nice graphical easy to use way. The idea of this tool is to make it easier for you to create a project plan and to track that project plan. Um, it is a free template to download and I'll give you the details of how to download it at the end of the video. So how to use this template. Firstly you need to put in your project name. So I am um, trying to plan out my house decoration. So I'm going to call it house decoration. And today's date is the 13th of May 2016. And I need to think about some of the tasks that I'm um, planning. So the first thing for any house decoration is about preparation. So I need to do some sanding. I need to do some um, uh, sugar soaping and uh, that's probably enough let me get rid of that row um, and then the next one high-level task is painting um, and let me just plan out my painting so I'm going to do first coat um, ceiling and then I'm going to do first coat walls and second coat ceiling, second coat walls. Now, you, what you'll notice here is that we've got um, high level tasks and we've got subtasks below them. So um, I can have as many subtasks as I like. Um, and if I don't need all of the subtasks that are written down, then I can just delete those rows. Um, if I want to add a new row, then I'll show you how to do that in just a second. So I've done um, the painting. So let's just say now I want to add another subtask here. So I would right click on the row below, um, insert, and I'm going to add a subtask called um, uh, door. So I'm going to need to paint the doors. Um, and I can add in some of the the dates for that so I, I need to go in and change all of these dates um, so let's just do my sanding dates first now the first thing um, you need to just be aware of is that we've got planned dates uh, baseline dates and we've got the current plan and the idea here is that when communicating a plan it's useful to have a baseline the baseline is your last agreed upon set of dates um, that you're working towards and the current plan is um, showing what you as the project manager believe is your latest um, start and end date for each task. So this will show any, any stakeholders whether you're still working to that um, agreed baseline plan. So if we're now creating a plan right at the beginning then our baseline start will be the same as our uh, current plan start and our baseline end will be the same as our task end date but as we go through if so let's just put some dates in here so let's say we start the sanding today um, and we plan to finish that um, let's say tomorrow um, and I think we can use those dates for um, the current plan dates okay and then sugar soaping let's say now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use a formula to reference um, the day that I finish the sanding because I think I can start the sugar soaping on that day so that's creating a dependency in my plan clearly I wouldn't start sugar soaping until I had finished the sanding so um, that's good to have that dependency so I'm going to start that on the 14th and then um, that's going to actually take me three days so I'm going to click on that cell and I'm going to say plus three so that's allowing me also to enter in the duration of a particular task So that's given those dates now you'll notice that these have turned um, turned green the reason they've turned green is because I haven't changed my current plan dates yet so let me just um, quickly change my current plan dates to be the same as them I'm actually just copy pasting as um, values. The reason I'm doing that is because I don't want to pull all these formulas through. And also we've got conditional formatting on these 
um, cells here which I don't want to be pushing into the current plan. So, um, so that's uh, the preparation. Uh, in terms of the painting, let's then um, do the same as what we did before. So after the sugar soaping, I'm going to give myself uh, a couple of days rest. So I'm going to start the first coat two days after that. That will then take me one day. And then the first coat on the walls will be um, on the same day. And then um, we'll put the, um, we'll say that takes another day. And then I think I can actually do um, the second coat on the ceilings on the same day as I do the walls. So I'm going to say that's the, the same start date and that can actually be the same end date. So these two tasks will run in parallel with each other. Second coat on the walls, um, that needs to be after the first coat on the walls. Um, after that the task has finished and then I'll do it um, one day after that. And then that will take one day. So I'm referencing this cell here and I'm adding one to it. So you can see here how I'm building up my project plan. Now the, the door um, will happen two days after the second coat goes on the wall and it will last two days, let's say. So that's my baseline plan. Now what I'm just going to do is going to copy all of that and I'm going to paste special as a values into that area. So all of those dates are now in uh, my plan. My baseline is the same as my current plan and I don't think I need these tasks down here so let me just delete all of these. So I can delete them in various ways. I can right click and go delete. I could clear contents if I want. Um, maybe I'll just clear contents for now. So okay. Now what we notice when we cleared the contents is that all of this has gone red. And the reason it's gone red is because um, this, this um, overall project timeline is now referencing a formula um, which looks for the maximum value across all of these cells. Um, and that is then comparing it to my current plan, which has got an end date. So the reason that happened was because this is a formula which was um, created based on all of these rows that we've now got rid of and then when we copied and paste special then it took the value which was is now not correct. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to copy those values across again. Okay so that's given us a nice clean plan that we can see how this is going to progress using our Gantt chart on the right. So a few other things just to say. So let's let's just give an example. So I've baselined my plan. Um, I'm going to double click in there and I'm just going to give this plan a date of the 13th of May 2016, which is today. So it's clear for everyone that wants to see it when this plan was last baselined. Now, let's just for argument's sake say that unfortunately the plan has fallen behind. So my sanding was unable to start today. So I'm going to need to change this date to be the 14th because I'm hoping to start it tomorrow and I'm um, hoping to finish it on the 15th. Now the problem with this is that my sugar soaping will not now be able to start on the 14th anymore. It will need to start on the 15th because I know that I can't start that until I start sanding. So I've moved those two tasks and I still plan to finish the sugar, sugar soaping on the 17th. So I think I can make the time up, but it's now highlighted in red that my baseline plan um, is at risk. And on my plan, it's showing areas of red on the Gantt chart on the right where I'm expecting to now overrun and when I'm expecting to start a task late. If I... Um, then decided down here that I thought actually that door is only going to take me one day or I've got some um, helper in that can make me finish it in half the time then and I reduced um, that date to the 26th now equally the baseline end date has gone green and on the Gantt it will display it as green now you'll notice that there's no Gantt line for this particular task and the reason is because we inserted this row 
as a new row earlier. So this Gantt chart is powered by Excel formulas. So what you need to do is you need to just copy the row above all the way to the end and you need to just drag those formulas down one row. And by doing that, you will then see the Gantt line for that particular row. So that row has now gone green um, and that's saying to me that particular day or that task is going to be finished one day early. So that's good. Right, so this column here, primary responsibility, this column is really for you to say which team member or which person is going to do the work. So I'm going to say me, 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 unfortunately me, 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 and the reason I finished this task earlier was because I'm going to get my nephew Josh in to help and he's really good at doors. So um, that's the reason that one's finishing early. Um, okay, now um, again we haven't got a status in this row, so we'll just copy the, the line above. Um, so all of the statuses at the moment are not started. We've got various statuses that we can choose here. Uh, if I just zoom in using the zoom button in Excel, we can read some of those statuses um, to say whether the task is on track, not started, on hold, delayed or complete. And that will help to convey a message of how each task is moving forwards. So that is the, um, the template in a nutshell. Um, it's relatively simple. It's certainly simple to use. Um, I think it is um, quite attractive in terms of how you then can report on project progress. Um, it's useful in terms of displaying today, uh, which is the yellow line. So you can see where on the plan you currently are. Um, and the baseline um, dates with the color coding um, and additional coding on the Gantt chart uh, help you to see where you're potentially slipping behind your original plan and makes the plan very transparent for everyone that's reading it. So hopefully um, you've found this um, demonstration useful. If you would like to download this uh, particular project planning template, then it's available for download for free from xl-macros.co.uk. Uh, you can download it there entirely free, use it uh, for your own purposes, and um, we've, we've provided it free for you just to um, try and give something that's useful for people to um, uh, enjoy and hopefully get value from. So um, if you do, if you have enjoyed the, uh, the presentation, the demonstration, or um, you get use from the Excel tool, then please do give a thumbs up to the video, download the tool, um, add some comments on excel-macros.co.uk, uh, or subscribe to our channels for more videos on free Excel tools. Uh, I've enjoyed doing this demo and uh, hope to see you back here soon. Bye-bye.